Yeah, we're just moseying along about 45. We ain't gotta get in no damn hurry today. Look at that, we made it all the way to two degrees Fahrenheit. Woohoo! Woohoo! For you fancy folks up there in Canada land, I'm not sure what the hell that is, or the rest of you metric fucks. You know, we, we, we measure things in freedom units around here. At least for now. Well, how are we now? So, being that my tractor's uh, fucking 11 miles north, I don't have another machine here to unload, except one. 756 isn't operational right now. 1840's not operational right now. Oh, the slasher's not operational right now. <laughs> pretty much all I got to uh, move hay with. Except that. So, kind of uh, one of the reasons I was pushing so hard to put a cab on this fucker with some structure to it, because I don't know if I can pick the top two bales off without tipping them on me. So, let's try this shit out. Dun, 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 dun. See if she'll start first. Come on, baby. Oh, oh yeah. Just fucking loyal. So we'll uh, see what happens here. Yeah, fuck it'll work good enough all right that actually goes pretty damn good um learning the pedal control on that hydraulic thumb is still a little bit of a learning curve but uh, i didn't have any issues i only dropped that first one i didn't drop any after that so and that was just a matter of the hay tearing and slipping so not a huge deal i think um I think actually what I'm going to do at some point, because that works pretty nice for taking them on and off. <laughs> I'd like to make a uh, bale spear that I can stick on there. I think I could weld the uh, the sleeve for it right on the back of that grapple without any having any problems with interfering with anything else. And uh, just stick the bale spear on that fucker, and then you can stick them, because I got plenty of counterweight. I don't have any problem with the damn thing getting tippy on me. Um, for unloading bales in the yard that would be pretty slick and you wouldn't be tearing stuff up because you stick and pivot so um, yeah I'm pretty fucking happy about that so let's go get a whole bunch more shall we
All right, second load. I'm uh, running eight this time. Running 10 last time wasn't bad on loading, but the fucking roads are so rough that I'm gonna have to strap them down to do that shit. And uh, that just makes a lot of fucking time. For the, the extra two bales, I'm, it'd be the same amount of time to just make another fucking trip, so. Uh, yeah. Put eight on there, they kind of locked themselves in with those ramps up in the back and the uh, jack in the front and all that. Fenders, they're pretty well locked in then. We can uh, we can move a little bit faster down the road. Before I was only able to do about 40. Um, otherwise you're dancing and jostling all over the fucking place. So, yeah, let's go home and uh, get these ones unloaded. We'll see if we can uh, get you some real footage on this this time when we unload.
don't know about you, but I'd say that works pretty slick. With a bale spear on there, it'd probably work a little bit better, but if we get them off the trailer in a hurry, we'll deal with them after that. So let's go back and get one more. I think we got time to get one more load before I gotta. Yeah, we'll do one more. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna haul one more, then I'm gonna go get the tractor. Because we gotta take the tractor and go plow out the landing over at the neighbors and then load that firewood out of there with the excavator. So that's gonna take us well until dark to get all that shit done. So, yeah, so far so good. The excavator thumbs holding together. Um, you're biting down on that bat, that fucking veil pretty hard to uh, be able to lift it up without tearing it apart. If you get half a bite on that fucker, it'll rip that veil apart. So, i uh super happy about that. We're going to go grab, we'll go grab one more. And then we'll get the fucking tractor bring her home. Okay. I gotta pull forward a little bit so I can stand the ramps up. We'll get the hell out of here. The uh, ramps are loaded because I'm on a hill a little bit, so yeah. Pull forward a little bit. Hear that? Ramps are ready. I'll go stand those up. We'll be on the road. Well, there we go. If I had uh, not had the problem with the fucking fuel freezing up I probably would have went for the rest of this today but with that delay I gotta get home and I gotta get some firewood hauled so uh, we don't run out in this fucking cold snap that's coming because looks like we're gonna have two lows 20s plus below zero for like four or five nights in a row I need to make sure that we got enough firewood we got enough feed but we gotta make sure we got enough firewood so we're going to go get firewood in another video. If you guys like what we're doing, throw me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring the bell and all that fancy stuff down there. Memberships are there if you want one. Jump on over and see if it's something you like. And hey. Um, yeah, fuck it. We'll see you next time. Take your out of four, Ricky Dicky.